Hello! Hey everyone, what's your favourite musical instrument? I do hope it's the violin, because it's the only one featured in this video. Well, not an actual violin, but a toy violin from China. An electronic one, I believe, because I had to stick two AA batteries in it, which is usually a pretty good sign. <clears throat> Wait for it. Violin. Wonderful sound, strange shape. Either that's English, or a very strange poetic turn of phrase. Wonderful sound, strange shape. Technically true, I suppose. It's also true of Michael Jackson before he died. Music, yes, to remind us what a violin does. I've learned a thing or two about love. It's push and shove, giving and giving in, giving up, give, 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 but nothing's given sin in this heaven just for the hell of its contradictions. Constant attraction, distraction. I've learned a thing. Oh, it's looping. Hmm. Now, when I read that, A, I thought I'd gone frickin' mental, and B, song lyric. And indeed, I looked it up, um, and it was quite difficult, but I did find an answer. It's from a song called Eternal Morning, from an album called a Soundtrack to a Lost Film, and it was produced by two Korean artists working together, Tableau and PE2NY. <clears throat> I assume the latter one has some kind of clever pronunciation, but I'm afraid I don't know what that is. Dun dun dun. Dun 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 Androgynous, posh-looking child is judging you whilst playing his violin, and he finds you unworthy. Oh, look how expensive my violin is. Not like your cheap Chinese one you've got. Mm. Yeah, is it a bird? Is it a bloke? No idea. With that uh, jacket and that haircut, though, I'm assuming 1980s, so uh, he could be 48 years old and some kind of minister for interior trade by now. I have no idea. But we must. Build the future small child star. We must do this thing. Build the future small child star. If not, what hope do we have for all of us? Oh, look, there's a carrying handle. It says OK on it. It's about as good as this thing gets. On the other side, we learn that the strings are touch sensitive. They don't actually play any bloody music, so that's a bit of a lie, really. And on the other side, strings regulation. So if you mess with the strings, I don't know, a government inspector comes around and moans at you or something. On the bottom, 0-3 sad onions, blah, blah, blah. Actually, that's a slightly different sad onion to usual. It's a sad onion with a quiff, the Pat Sharp of uh, sad onions. Actually, perhaps it's this androgynous person who has become a sad onion. <laughs> there we are, covering both genders. That explains a lot. Right, what's on the... Oh, yes, I remember what's on the back. <clears throat> Stickers from Toy Express and uh, the people who imported this to the UK for some reason. Thank you for sending this in, whoever did that, because uh, I never would have found this on my own, I don't think. And it does have a wonderful sound, albeit a strange shape. And this type of simulation violin is Baby's Contact Music Enlightenment Partner. You know, that's the first thing I thought when I saw this. I thought that type of simulation violin is Baby's Contact Music Enlightenment Partner. Turns out I was right. What are the controls? Funny laughter keys? Yeah, that makes perfect sense. When you've got your violin, you do need the funny laughter keys. Slow rhythm guitar music key. And already we're into guitars when it's a frickin' violin. Fast rhythm of violin music keys. Oh good, it does have some violin going. Violin music key. Blah, and keys of drums. Well, it's certainly an instrument of many varieties. Oh god, it's him again. Or her again. I don't know. Stunning electric violin function description. <coughs> Wait for it. <coughs> Stunning electric guitar features a total of seven keys, one funny laughter keys, two slow rhythm guitar music key, three fast rhythm of violin music keys, four keys of five drums, violin music key, the six act or talk like a fool key, seven stop key, two flash. The talk like a fool key. You press it, Mr. T appears out of nowhere and beats you up and then pities you. Right, what do these do then? One, funny laughter button. Touch will be issued after the children's laughter, the key to interrupt the other voice. If it is in the act or talk like a fool, quit the act or talk like a fool. <laughs> quit your talking like a fool, fool. Um, yeah, so what, you press the button and it laughs and interrupts the music. Great. Two, slow rhythm guitar music key. Trigger once, put a guitar instrumental music, a total of five songs. Sounds great. Three, the pace of violin music keys. Trigger once, put a violin music instrument, a total of three songs. That's eight songs so far, unless they repeat. No idea. Drum key, play back the, th play back the thrum keys. Yeah, make your mind up, lads. Can any time to open the drums with the first sound. Note, if the talk nonsense, touch the key, put a bar drum cycle, do background talk nonsense. If is talk nonsense, long time no touch, about 26 seconds automatic turn off into energy saving mode, the process of ring to set off drum background. Only one person talking nonsense here, and it ain't us, old boy. Um, 
yeah, so what? It can detect if you talk nonsense and shuts itself up? I'm very confused by that. Number five, the violin music keys triggering, triggering a violin music instrument, a total of five songs. So th there are quite a few songs. Thirteen so far, maybe. I genuinely don't know. And number six, key in the act or talk like a fool when playing. About six seconds without touching the keys will quit, then touch the keys. The song will start again. What? It automatically turns off if you talk like a fool? I'm very confused by this. Look what's inside. Nothing, because I already took it out. I'll push it across in a minute. But <clears throat> I would like to read to you the introduction to the history of the violin. If you are eating, you may want to stop while we do this. This is actually the only time in memory I had to stop a review because I was laughing too much and then do it again the next day. This is take two. Actually, I might link you take one at the end. I might put it on the extra channel. Um, yeah, if that works, look at it at the end after the channel URL. If it doesn't work, I'll have edited this bit out. Right. <clears throat> The violin, violin, is a kind of super clean orchestra played to ring carry instruments. It is widely spread all over the world, is the modern orchestra string of the main instrument. In the music it plays very important position, is the pillar of the modern symphony orchestra, but also has the difficult playing skills solo instrument. Well, that's cleared that one up. The emergence of modern violin has been 300 years of history, is the western music since the 17th century and one of the most important instruments as the instrument queen, was also the production is itself a gate violin for fine art. I've always thought the violin was a gate violin for fine art. The violin beautiful tone, close to a broad range, only close, and the performance is strong, it was born from that day on. He's been in the instrument of significant position for people loved. If the piano is the king of musical instruments, then the violin is the queen of instruments. What would the child of a piano and a violin look like? Hmm. An accordion, probably. For centuries, the world-famous composer wrote a lot of violin classic works, violinist and this instrument into the soul, the development of the superb performance art. The violin can concerts and solo. A clever old violin. The violin is a string of four bowed instruments. The members are, No, the family is the main members of the family system of other members are... Blimey. The viola, the cello, and the bass. Modern violin originated from Italian Craig Mona. <laughs> in 1600 to 1750 years to become the largest violin production centre. Yes, um, that's actually, I think, referring to the Italian region Cremona, not a man called Craig Mona. The famous master making guitars are Nicola Amati, Nicholas Marti, <laughs> He likes to be called when he's in an English-speaking country. Antonio Stradivari. Antonio Stella Bottom Tile. <laughs> Pretty sure that's what he doesn't want to be called when he's in an English-speaking country. And Giuseppe Gianneri. G Plug Poo Melon Nye. Pretty sure that's not what he wants to be called full stop. They made instruments so far are priceless. I'll tell you what else is priceless in this text. The violin's fifth tune, G, D1, A1, E2, register more than three and a half group, is all orchestra indispensable instrument. Also after instruments. Blimey, that was like the mother load of English. That was something quite amazing. And at least from now on I can call Antonio Stradivari Antonio Stella Bottom Tile. And have you got a Stella Bottom Tile? You know, one of them good violins. <clears throat> so, after that joy, we're nearly ten minutes in and we haven't even shown the frickin' device yet. <laughs> Bottom tile. Right. <clears throat> Bow. No need for any rosin on this one. As you have probably guessed, this is not meant to be played like a violin. Turn it over and we have... Oh, frick. The batteries have dropped. <laughs> Jump cut! Turns out it doesn't have a very good battery compartment. So, let us turn it on and see... We're going to assume the one button is here. I don't think I will. So that will be the funny laughter button, presumably. I'm going to turn it round, because I imagine that speaker is horrifyingly loud. Oh my god, it's got lights! Now we're talking. Let's have the funny laughter key once more. Enjoy the music! No thanks. So, number two, time for some music. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star played in a harpsichord. Yeah, that's not very violin-y, is it, lads? Ooh. 
Again, very classical, but not quite what we're after, really. That's the fucking theme to Angry Birds. You are shitting me. <laughs> Probably get a copyright strike for this. Why is it playing the theme to Angry Birds? Oh well, keeping in with the surf. Oh man, I recognise this. This is from a game, isn't it? Well, another game. No, I can't place it. Bugger! Should have listened to this before, I could have asked on Twitter. Oh well, it, it's um, video game savvy. Fucking hell, Caramel Dancing, the uh, leak spin song. Amazing! Why doesn't it sound like it's played on a violin? That would make a lot more sense. It did say guitar, actually, on there, didn't it? That's mental! It's like the internet meme violin, anyway. And we're back round to Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So, next button. Oh, same thing again, but sounds a bit more violin-y, maybe? Oh yes, violin camel dance, and now we're talking. And a more violin-y Angry Birds. Fucking hell, guys. And this one again. Yeah, it's looping. Next button. Oh my god, it does literally add drums to the existing tune. How cool is that? Answer, not very. Well, that's interesting. You literally turn the drums on and off for the music. And what is the final button? <laughs> Old Lang Syne played in a slightly dodgy manner. Can we add drums? No, I can't add drums to this one. That's amazing. Now you can actually pretend you are playing the violin. It came in the end. And this bloody one again. And that one again. Yep, that's the sort of thing you would probably learn if you were learning the violin. <laughs> oh man, that's even slightly dodgily played. Beethoven's Ode to Mediocrity. Oh, that is astonishing. I don't know what I was expecting when I turned that on, but it wasn't the theme to Angry Birds and Leak Spin. Well, bloody hell, if you see one of those in the shops, well, buy it. Build the future small child star yourself, and uh, together we can live in horrible, screechy paradise together. <laughs>